Righto, so uh, this episode here, um, we got a delivery from Cut Price Racing, some wheel, uh, some wheels and hubs, and uh, yeah, so we're gonna show you how we put them on and uh, how to put tires onto the new rims, and yeah, that's about it, eh? Hey all, Fab here, and today we have another delivery from Cut Price Racing. got these because like I've said earlier I want the Cali cart to look a bit more like a drift car than I do a go-kart so I got these for the front so I can run the same size wheels on the front as I do on the back 17 mil gut I believe they're 50 mil long standard 3 bolt I think the Hold the studs uh, 29 mil from the center yeah 20 29 mil from the center with a 50 mil center hole cool that's one Cool. Some rear rims. So now I'll be able to use same size tyres and rims front and back. These ones I feel it's important to mention. These wheels, I don't know how well you'll see it, but there's a tiny little scuff there. And these, while they're still from Cut Price Racing, these come from a cool little corner called Shopped, Shop Soiled, which is kind of handy if you don't want to spend a great deal of money. And, I mean, from most of the stuff I've looked at on there, there's never really that much wrong with it. But, for the purpose we use these carts for, I didn't really want to spend uh, a lot of money on rims knowing that they're probably going to hit something at some point. <laughs> Let's get the other one out. Alright, so we've just loosely put a hub in the wheel, or the rim itself, and this is basically what they look like. Excuse me, I just got to work my way around the fan. Alright, so, that's what we're working with. You can see it's brought the front track out more level with the rear, which is what I wanted <coughs> so that it turns in a little better. Nice fat little front end on it. You can see our crown nut in there. All loosely bolted up, just for a reference point. These are the tyres I'm going to be using on the front. Motos. They were kind enough, or well, go-kart track locally was kind enough to supply us with those. They measure in at... 71 or 7.1 sorry <laughs> by 11-5 it's basically the same size as the rears um, the track will still be a tiny bit narrower in the front so it should steer nice it shouldn't oversteer or it shouldn't understeer so I'm going to show you all how to fit a tyre or what is the easiest way for me to fit a tyre okay Right, now we're going to try and fit the tyre. <coughs> couple of things to use, or well, for me, I use two flatheads. It's going to help with pulling the beads on. A little bit of slippery stuff. 
doesn't really matter what you use you don't want to use a great deal of it though just enough to help the dry tire go over the B of the rim so what I do is I start with the back side of the rim I always put the tire on from the back side um, this is because there's a less gradual uh, like uh, less gradual curve there before the actual bead of the tyre can seat on the rim whereas on the front you can see the slope is a lot longer and it usually takes a bit more effort to get them on the front so that's the front I start with the front down right next step is we get our tyre figure out which way it's going to be going so yep that'll be, oh, hang on that'll be spinning the wrong way so I'm going to have to get the other tyre Right, now we've got the right one. Be spinning in the right direction, I think. How am I getting this wrong right now? <laughs> now I've got it right. <coughs> so, <coughs> what I'm going to do, excuse my cough, I've still got a little bit of the flu. What I'm going to do, Let's just give a light spray around there. All right, that's our, the front side of our tire. Light spray just to get the bead a little slippery. All right, our rim. Good idea to have a rag down so you don't scuff up your rim. In our case, it doesn't really matter, but it's the right process to take. So make sure our bead's slippery. All right, now this can be a little difficult and take a while, but let's hope we get it right. So we're going to want to smash that if we can, under there. Back beads is where it can get tricky. So we're going to give ourselves another little spray here. Make sure we're a bit slippery. Right. Now this is a trick I learnt working at a local mower shop. Basically, what you want to do is push one side of your tyre down. I don't know if you can see real well, but I've got... Basically what we're going to do is we've got a bit of the bead hanging out. Right, just there. We've got to try and push that tyre down and then inwards so that this tire this side of the tire actually slips into the underneath the bead right and then we pull it tight when we do that and what that'll do is put the tire past where it locks onto the rim and give us room to be able to pry this side of the tire around much toiling we got the bead to pop onto the rim um, I just want to say when you're doing this be very careful um, one you don't want to pinch your finger or your palm or something in the bead while you're doing it that sucks because you can never seem to get the valve out quick enough when you need to when you're pinched also when you put it on try to have the rim as straight as it can be in the tyre or as straight as you can get it even if you've got to belt it on the ground a couple of times to get it straight do that because that means the bead is going to go up more evenly and easier with less pressure if you've got the tyre sack cocked on the rim and you're trying to pump it up one side's going to pop and then the other side's going to take too long to get up there and you could potentially put too much air into the tyre and pop the tyre in your face um, very dangerous and I'd imagine very painful all right that's the hub, new wheel and tyre assembled. As you can see when we're looking as close as we can down the profile of the cart, the front wheels are actually more in line with the back wheels now. <coughs> so this is the original rim. Might not look that big, but when you stick it up in reference as to where it would have sat before, that's the difference. Alright, so that 
similar to a four wheeler when because we use these carts for off-road well not off-road but sliding around similar to a four wheeler you want the front track as close to or wider than the back track to help with turn in so that should make my life sliding around a lot easier. Oh,